Hello there, my name is Plumpy, and today I am going to be bringing you all a video which I was not expecting to make, but I kind of made the decision that I'm not going to end the honey brews and I'm instead going to turn them into my current household. The reason for this is that I was looking back at the honey brew screenshots and I just realised how much lore I have made for this family and how much I love them and how much I don't want to let them go and how much I want to continue their stories and for this reason I've decided to as I did say turn them into my current household so the honey brew let's plays will be ending you know Willow Creek stories will be ending but I will be posting like probably monthly current households of the honey brews just kind of updating you guys on what's going on with their lives but without having to fully commit to a let's play and have to post episodes for that because it's just I want to start obviously a new with another legacy let's play for us to do together and that's my main kind of thing for that is that I just want to begin a new legacy let's play with you guys and kind of keep the honey brews to myself so I thought I would make this video today just to kind of let you guys know what's going on with the honey brews and you know my kind of change of plans with them because I was just fully planning just to end this the save file delete the save file everything but I thought that I would instead of ending it I would just end the honey brew let's plays so I thought that I couldn't just like let you guys know on the community tab because I'm not gonna be posting a finale now obviously because I'm gonna continue playing with them so to do a finale would seem a bit odd because I don't want to wrap up the stories yet so I thought instead I would post this video just updating you guys and also you know over some honey brew makeovers because I had to give them makeovers because I did you know delete my whole mods folder and reset it so I did need to give them a makeover so I hope you enjoy these makeovers of some of the honey brews because most of them I just used in game items and I also hope you enjoy some honey brew gameplay as well as I kind of update you guys. My main plan is as I did say to post monthly videos updating you guys on what's going on with the honey brews basically all of them so my main inspiration for this is It's Not Malcolm. He posts this these really really good legacy series which I actually haven't watched for many many months now but when I did watch it I absolutely loved it and he basically showed his ginormous family legacy and he kind of went in depth on like what's going on with them but it was very much in like a current household format but a little bit different I'm not explaining it very well but if you go and watch it's not Malcolm's series I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box you'll see what I mean obviously it's going to be not exactly like that because a my content is going to vary because it's my content but that's the kind of inspiration I'm going for with this and I was planning on doing this anyway actually for the honey brews but I just thought I'd bring it in a little bit early because of obviously this this new chapter I wanted to change it and bring it in with the new chapter instead of like making a couple more episodes of honey brew before doing it so yeah expect to see little updates with the honey brews monthly or so just kind of update you guys on what's going on this way you will still be seeing honey brew gameplay but it'll be a lot more chill because it'll be in the current household format so it'll just be little glimpses into what's going on with them and i also plan to post screenshots of what's going on with the honey brews on my tumblr now i want to post some screenshots of the honey brews on my tumblr and some on my patreon obviously to view the screenshots on my patreon you will need to be a patreon and um it won't be for free members it'll have to be for paid members my plan is to post some of the screenshots to my tumblr mainly the screenshots of really big events like marriages you know babies being born or just specific screenshots like even if it's not like a big event a specific screenshot i just want to put on tumblr they'll go there the little in between screenshots of you know everyday honey brew life because i do take so many screenshots will be posted on my patreon just because i want to give something to my patreon members or a little bit more of something to my patreon members if you do want to keep up with the honey brews um and you don't want to wait monthly for a video i will be consistently posting to my tumblr screenshots of them and also to my patreon as well so you won't have to wait for a full video you can kind of have these little kind of droplets of honey brew content in between um waiting for the latest kind of current household update to come out i'm very excited for it i'm really excited to kind of be incorporating this into the new chapter i've not had a current household for so long like i've started them but i've only played like three in-game sim days or like a week in game before i kind of give up so to have the honey bruise as my current household would be really lovely and not to feel the pressure of having to record everything and also to you know have that headspace to begin my new legacy because I think if I was still posting episodes of Honey Brew whilst having the new legacy, A, I just wouldn't have the time and B, it would just kind of be really overwhelming and I think this is the best way for me to continue enjoying the Honey Brews and to continue their stories and have them as, you know, more of a personal thing. Not completely though, because I'm still going to be sharing screenshots, posting current households, etc. Because the Honey Brew 
is still, the Honeybrews are still our family. Like I don't consider them my family, I consider them our family. But we'll be able to kind of leave the stage and the spotlight for my brand new legacy. We'll really be able to give them the spotlight, give our new heir that spotlight and make them the new kind of legacy family of my channel. Because for a while Honeybrew have kind of been the legacy family of my channel. They've been the face of that, I suppose. So to kind of have a new Sims family to be the face of that for this new chapter and for, you know, my new gameplay style because I have been, you know, switching up my gameplay style a bit. I mean, it's the same. <laughs> it's practically the same as before, but I'm trying to incorporate new things and stuff as, you know, my content evolves and as I evolve as a person and just as I kind of, you know, change how I enjoy The Sims 4. But this video, to put it simply, it's just a very long-winded way of saying <laughs> I am going to be continuing the Honey Brews, but just not the Let's Plays, so not Willow Creek Stories not the Honey Brew Let's Play. Instead, I'll be posting monthly current household and frequent screenshots on my Tumblr and on my Patreon of them. I do have one more thing I want to do in today's video. I actually wanna look over some Honey Brew screenshots together and reminisce together. But before I do do that, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for watching the Honey Brews and supporting them and really just helping me write their stories, helping me create their stories, you know, guiding me with where you want their stories to go. I just, I really appreciate that. I'm so proud of every single Honey Brew. I know we've like focused on more honey brews than the others like for example daisy has had such a big character arc and that's all thanks to you guys because you really helped me shape her as a person or as a sim <laughs> and shape her story so i really really appreciate that um but i'm just so proud of you know what the honey brews have become and i'm really looking forward to see where they're going to be going in this new chapter i'm looking forward to you know what will become of their stories when i'm not you know filming every single moment of their lives because i think you know when i play on my own my stories are quite different i mean they're still stories but i feel like they always they always take a bit more of a, a different route. And I'm really interested to see what the Honeybrews will look like in like three months time now that they've become my current household over being one of my Let's Play families. And I'm just really excited to enter this new stage with you guys, to share what I'm doing with them with you guys. And yeah, once again, just thank you so much for watching my Honey Brew videos, because there's been a lot of them and some of you guys have been here from the start. Some of you guys have, you know, not only been here from the start, but you've like maybe recently watched all the episodes and that's just absolutely insane like thank you so much for kind of dedicating your time to watching this family that i've like worked so hard on story wise i'm just so grateful for every single one of you and yeah i'm so excited to enter this new chapter of the honey breeze with you guys but now as i did say let's hop on over to the screenshots so i thought that we could go ahead and check out all the honey breeze screenshots that we did take in generation two which is of course a daisy's generation so when we started playing with daisy which became a young adult the reason i'm not going over the screenshots we took of gen one with feather is because i've actually already got through them with you guys in this format i did it at the last episode of gen one so just not to be repetitive and not to show you guys you know the same screenshots again because you know my reaction is going to stay relatively the same to kind of looking back on them i thought we would just take a look at all the screenshots shots that we took with gen 2 of course i'm going to be continuing taking honey brew screenshots um and posting them on my tumblr but this is kind of the screenshots that we that we took when honey brew was in the let's play format and you know everything that we did together so i thought that it was only fitting that we take a look at them now and like daisy's generation is coming to an end anyway look i'm gonna start playing with nolan soon so i just thought that this was overall really fitting and lovely to kind of look back on so this first one here is i believe new year's eve or when we started playing with daisy for the first time and she was hanging out with her friend I, th I actually forgot his name. I think it's Sean. Is it Sean? I actually don't remember. She hasn't spoken to him for quite a while. And then of course we do have some screenshots of other honey brews because we don't just play with Daisy. We have Willow here with one of her exes. I actually forgot their name as well. It's been so long. This was, oh, this was when they went to Hemford. I loved filming this episode so much. And look how tiny <laughs> Birch is in this screenshot <laughs> compared to, um, Daisy because he would have been a teenager at the time. Basically they went to spend a Christmas or a Winterfest I should say at Hanford. I loved filming that episode. It was so much fun and it was snowing and it was beautiful and it was just great to get all the honey brews there together and oh I love sibling photos. My favourite things to do with honey brew is to get photos of the siblings and we're missing Fisher of course but he couldn't come but we just have the three of them here. Oh Birch looks so adorable. He's so tiny. <laughs> yeah this was a lovely episode to film and I I just love Winterfest with the honey brews. This is Fisher, an old photo of Fisher and Yuki. And oh, well, I went to so many parties at university. She was like such the party animal, if we remember. I absolutely love this screenshot of her because just the utter chaos is 
fits Willow so much. I miss Hazelnut so much, you guys. That was one of my favourite dogs in The Sims 4. She was so cute. Oh, I remember Fisher started his, not Fisher, Finley. <laughs> I'm gonna get names mixed up. Finley started his fishing club and he was, you know, teaching Sims how to fish. That was so wholesome. Oh, it's Guppy. Oh, this was, this is when we, when Finley went to Brindleson Bay and he, he adopted Guppy the stray. We still have Guppy. And then here we go. I love the screenshot of Hazelnut and Guppy together. It's so wholesome. I, I miss Hazelnut so much. Okay, I love this screenshot for multiple reasons. Okay, first of all, this is when she met, oh my gosh, I've actually forgotten his name. It's like there in my head. But uh, if we remember, this guy was trouble. He was absolute trouble. He actually died like a couple, like in game sim months after him and Daisy split up because of the neighborhood stories, I think, which is kind of tragic. But um, I completely forgot his name, but he was absolute trouble. And this is when Daisy, you know, I think, is this where she first met him? I'm not sure if this is where she first met him, but they were on a date or something. But I love how you guys can see Aurora in the background of this screenshot. And like, the reason I love this is because as we know, Aurora is also a lesbian or, you know, we think she's also a lesbian. And like, I like to imagine that she's on a date with this guy here and she is not happy. Daisy's on a date with this guy here and she is not happy because of course Daisy is a lesbian. And I just... <laughs> I find this so funny for that reason that they're both kind of like they're not obviously they kind of broke it off before the end of high school like their friendship quote unquote friendship but like I just I love how they're like living parallel lives as young adults I just find it so funny it'd be so interesting to see where Aurora is now like I've been tempted to bring her back into the story multiple times but I always delete the draft that I write for that because I'm just like it feels wrong to bring Aurora back if you get my drift um but I'm always curious as to you know where she's at in life now because Daisy's obviously doing so well and they want if Aurora is to you or if she's kind of stayed trying to appease the Willow Creek standards in her family's you know standards and stuff oh here we go oh my gosh this, um, okay so there we go yeah they had their first kiss shortly after which you know Daisy looks absolutely horrified and like shocked and not in a good way <laughs> oh sibling photos oh I love this so much like it actually hit me the other day just how similar like these guys look especially when they were both young adults because now they're like adults they look quite different but as young adults you know they just looked so similar like you can really tell their sisters it's so cute this would have been when Willow moved back to Willow Creek I think she finished university around this time because she was kind of catching up with old friends and then you know she met James and like their first like thing they did together was have a chess match which I think is so freaking adorable I know lots of you guys don't actually like James um um, I've gotten many comments of people saying, you know, Willow deserves someone way more fun than James because he's he's so average, like in, I don't mean to say that like in a meme way by the way, but he's like, you know, very typical sim, you know, I think compared to Willow, who's very extravagant, very eccentric, James is very much so calm and quiet. He's a loner. If you get my drift, he doesn't dress like crazily. He wears like jeans and gray t-shirts, but I think that's like why they work so well together is that, you know, Willow can be kind of a crazy outgoing Labrador <laughs> golden retriever type of sim if you get my drift, whereas James is a lot more calm and I think that's why they work so well they kind of balance each other out super duper well and I know their story isn't like super duper romantic like if we compare it to like Feather and Finley and stuff but like it doesn't have to be like I think not all relationships are going to be really really romantic and I like how these guys reflect that so I actually really do like them together but I know lots of you guys don't and that that's fair I can see where you're coming from with that oh if you guys remember this is when he the man because I forgot his name the troublesome man <laughs> flirted with Willow and Willow was so angry oh my gosh I'm being so shocked that I don't think I planned that either I just think he flirted with her and I was like so shocked but they like invited him to the to the barbecue the honey brews like barbecue because she was like hey here's my new boyfriend and like they were all like they all sensed there was something off with him if you remember they all sensed there was something off with him but they didn't want to say it because they didn't want to be rude oh my gosh it's Tyson oh I'm like clapping. <laughs> I love Tyson. This would have been when Daisy met Tyson for the first time and girls really got a suntan, Jesus Christ. <laughs> This one she met Tyson for the first time and oh yeah this is like a skip forward I must have not taken screenshots for a while because obviously she split up with him after he you know caused trouble with Willow and he was just like an overall you know um idiot to put it in the nicest terms possible <laughs> so she broke up with him and then you know soon after met Tyson and Tyson is a baby angel and actually if we skip over to the next screenshot we have James and Willow have their first kiss together which is so cute I love how like we have Daisy having her first kiss and obviously she wasn't really into Tyson, you know, she just kind of felt pressured to be into him. But then we have Willow who's actually really, you know, happy to be having her first kiss with someone which I think is cute. I love this screenshot. This is actually one of my favourite screenshots for the key reason that we have Finley and Fisher, right? And then look behind. 
Finley and Fisher, but when they were younger and Fisher was a little toddler. This is why I adore this screenshot. Like, oh, I didn't even mean for this to happen. Like, I didn't even mean for them both to be standing there with the photo behind them. So it was like the best accident possible, but it's so cute. Ooh, this is when Daisy found out she was pregnant with Nolan. This like utterly changed her life for the better. And this was her kind of saying to Willow, hey Willow, I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I remember this episode. And then obviously we told Tyson and Tyson, obviously being Tyson was so excited because he was planning on proposing to Daisy and he kind of had this whole idea in his mind that they would live in a, you know, lovely big house in Willow Creek. And he kind of had this whole idea, which obviously didn't happen. Daisy here telling Feather, because I'm pretty sure we got her to tell Willow first because she was obviously kind of shocked by it and she wanted to tell her sister first. And then here is baby Nolan. Very exciting. No, we have Feather here with Willow meeting him. Oh, this is when I started using um a more stronger <laughs> reshape preset, which is quite nice because as you guys can tell, like the difference is big. I love how happy Birch looks in this photo. And then it was his birthday, so we aged up and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is of course, we remember the iconic, well, it's iconic to me <laughs> in my head. It, this is like a staple moment in Daisy's story for some reason in my head. I'm not sure if it's just because of the dress and everything and how she's dressed and like, the dramaticness of it but this is when Tyson of course proposed and Daisy obviously even before he proposed she was like not happy I think she sensed that you know this is a very formal event like he told me to dress up as nice as possible he's dressed up as nice as possible she knows what Tyson is like you know he's very traditional he'd want to you know take you out to dinner get you dressed up really nice etc to propose yeah then he proposed and then <laughs> She's like, oh, thank you. But obviously inside she's like screaming because she really does not want to get married to Tyson. And, you know, she does also really, at this time she was thinking about, you know, moving to Samish, you know, having a fresh start, you know, getting into the politics career because she obviously hated the business job she was in. So then obviously we have her feeling just completely lost in what to do because she's not happy with, like, I suppose the track her life is going in. Oh, I like the screenshot. I took this one for a thumbnail um, and I used a mod that can make toddlers really teeny tiny because I wanted it for the thumbnail for, for Nolan. So I think this is so sweet because look how tiny he is. Yes, family photos. As I say, I love family photos. Oh, I love this one here. I love how kind of camera shy Fisher is. Oh, camping trip. This is when I did the review for the uh, outdoor, one of the outdoor, the camping outdoor kit or something. I actually really like this kit. It's the kit that I don't regret buying. <laughs> the only one I don't regret buying because I genuinely really like this one. But yeah, I did a video on them all going camping when I reviewed the kit and I thought I got some pretty cute screenshots. This is when, of course, Daisy did decide to make the move. Obviously, I'm not going to recap the whole story to you guys. You guys have seen the series. You know what happened. But, you know, this is when she first moved and she met Camille for the first time, who is, of course, now one of her most closest friends. I love this photo so much. It's so adorable and I loved that. Feather stayed with her for a while. That just made for such cute gameplay. You know, Feather in the City, who would have thought she's definitely a more like suburban lady or a countryside lady so it's cool to see her in the city ah nolan's birthday i love like daisy's style at this time as well can i say i know she's kind of left the kind of pink look now she's kind of more beige kind of more rose colors and reds and stuff but i loved you know this like pink color on daisy she just looks so like youthful and stuff um but obviously you know symbolically she left pink behind because it was like you know this, this new start for her showing how she's like accepting who she is and we kind of did that with the colors which i think is quite cool because pink is kind of something she like has always worn pink she's always such a pink person uh, when it comes to her fashion little nolan i love this one of him on the slide and you can see the autumn trees in the background oh this is when of course james was asking for or Finley's permission for him to, of course, marry Willow and propose to Willow. Of course, Daisy did go out a lot to lots of bars and karaoke's with her friends whilst Feather stayed at home with Nolan. I think this was a great idea because obviously she really does enjoy going out with friends and exploring the city. So kind of bringing Feather with her kind of gave her the ability to do that and still kind of, you know, enjoy her youth because obviously she did have Nolan young. She didn't have Nolan as a teenager, but she had Nolan in her early 20s. So this kind of allowed her to do that. But this is when she met, I've actually forgotten her name. Oh my God, I created this empty. Sarah, there we go. <laughs> Sarah, this is when she met Sarah for the first time, who, if we remember, like, Sarah, she was not trouble per se, but obviously, you know, they did end up splitting up because Sarah, you know, was kind of in a life of crime, you know, quite, to put it quite dramatically, but, you know, she wasn't a bad person, and I think she did help Daisy a lot. Oh, another thumbnail, thumbnail screenshot. Oh, this is when... We started, you know, playing a little bit with Birch, or I started playing a little bit with Birch, because I don't think I'd started Willow Creek stories yet, so it was just me playing him on my own, but him getting the garden ready, Finley, oh, because him and Finley went on a camping trip. I, did I film this? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. I may have. 
you guys have to let me know but um i love doing this either way you know making them go on a little autumn camping trip before it got too cold just getting them to fish together and bond together obviously guppy came with them and obviously they did make some s'mores because those those are essential camping trips and oh this would have been willow's adult birthday <laughs> typical willow screenshot here and of course they had just bought their brand new house and willow being the kind of person who does like to conform to conventions decided to propose to james which i thought was so beautiful and I, I going back i love the screenshot because you can see their new house in the background as she proposes i just think it's just so lovely and um yeah i loved i love this this so much and oh here we go we're back in mount kamarebi now with the Fisher and his ex. I actually forgot her name. I need to get better at names, but you know, typical you new know, Fisher screenshots. Him, you know, either at the bar hanging out with a friend or you know, at home painting. <laughs> a little photo of Heather with Nolan, you know, them hanging out at the park together. Oh, this would have been the big Thanksgiving or Harvest Fest dinner. So all of the honey brews kind of gathered from their multiple places where they lived or gather at the home base and have a lovely Harvest Fest dinner. I love that. And obviously we also aged up Nolan as well into a child at this time, which was great because it meant everyone could be here for his birthday. Another little family photo or like a, a more like a sibling photo because we have to <laughs> we have Daisy here. We can only see her torso, which is quite sad, but we've got, you know, the siblings here with their niece, which is really adorable. Or, oh, sorry, nephew? Yeah, nephew. Sorry, Nolan. <laughs> Another really cozy photo of the honey brews, you know, in their pajamas, hanging out by the fire. Of course, every time we go out to restaurants, everybody has to <laughs> eat at separate tables now because the family is just that big. I love it when they go out to restaurants, so it's such a chaos thing to like order and like try to organize but it's always so much fun to have them all you know eating together this was obviously the last time nolan would actually see fish's ex because soon after you know because here they were at the airport if we remember soon after they left them you know they went back to mount kamarebi they did split up which was quite sad because nolan did get along quite a lot with his ex and this was when willow was pregnant with the twins no not the twins no magnolia was born first yeah pregnant with magnolia oh and there we go we have baby magnolia which is so cute this would have been fish's birthday when he became an adult and this is when you know he started hanging out with yuki a lot more because obviously they had been hanging out since he moved to mount kamarebi they were university friends but they kind of just stayed best friends for a while and then you know soon after he kind of split up with his ex because i've forgotten her name i'm so sorry he ended up you know kind of realizing that he did have feelings for yuki which was really adorable and they make such a good match and i'm so excited for them to have their kid and get married and of course daisy did come back to willow creek to meet baby magnolia because she was so excited to be an auntie and this would of course of course been for winterfest so everyone once again gathered back at the home base to celebrate winterfest together which was lovely i love winterfest i know that like one of you guys suggested i'm pretty the person who actually created Finley that we give his necklace to one of the honeybrews and I think at first they said maybe we should give it to like Fisher, maybe Birch, but I was kind of thinking Nolan. I don't know why, but it's kind of between Birch and Nolan because Fisher isn't really into the outdoors, but Birch, as we know, loves fishing. Nolan enjoys fishing, but Magnolia also enjoys fishing. So it's kind of stuck between those three sims. And I'm trying to decide who, you know, Finley would most likely give it to. And then we're now back in Sam you know, and of course, Nolan and Tyson are spending some quality time together. And then here we have Daisy climbing up that career ladder, doing some protesting. I, I love how Daisy has completely just you know become such a career woman I'm so proud of her and I love seeing her journey you know climbing up that ladder because obviously she started at the bottom because she didn't go to university here we have Magnolia oh as a toddler and this is obviously when they went out for, for, to the park oh this is very exciting because this is when you know Daisy and Sarah really started you know falling for each other and Daisy didn't try and hide her feelings she kind of just fully went for it and trusted her heart and then they had their first kiss, which I thought was really, really lovely and such an important pivotal moment for Daisy. Oh, this would have, of course, been Willow's wedding. And you know why I love this screenshot? <laughs> I know I keep saying this is why I love these specific screenshots, is that we have a picture of Feather on her wedding day in the background. And then we have a picture, of course, Daisy and Willow hugging, and we have Willow getting ready for her wedding day. And as we remember, we did give her the Dutch braids because obviously Feather wore Dutch braids on her wedding day, so Willow wanted to have it the same or similar hairstyle. We have Feather getting the wedding cake ready, because of course she did want to make their wedding cake and then we have them at the magnolia blossom park where of course feather and finley also did get married and they're kind of you know walking down the aisle oh this is so sweet i love honey brew wedding photos i feel like we don't how many honey brew weddings have we had i think we've had two feather and finley and willow and james so yeah there hasn't been a lot that's probably why they feel so special but of course we have some more kind of 
honeybrew pool days because they did get married in the summer before everyone kind of returned home. I think this is when we started Willow Creek stories because I remember Birch started, you know, hanging out with this Sim here who I've also forgotten the name for. I'm such a silly goose. I think they're just friends now because I believe he like had a crush on her or something, but she just kind of said, you know, we are just going to be friends. I'm not exactly sure though. It's kind of, you know, I'm still kind of working on that. They're only friends for now, but anyway, they did go out on a couple, you know, food dates, like friend dates, I suppose. Oh my God. I have like no pregnant photos of Willow when she was pregnant with the twins but anyway here are the twins <laughs> oh i love the screenshot it's a finley reading next to henry oh this was so much fun when of course but feather bunch <laughs> oh my god daisy feather and willow went to i actually forgot the name oh my god you know the the honeymoon world the wedding pack world i've actually forgotten the name oh my god my brain today is not working but that, this was such a fun tartosa 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 I think it was Tartosa. We're just going to say it's Tartosa. When they went to Tartosa, <laughs> it was so much fun. And this is, of course, where she met Mackenzie, who is, you know, her current love interest. I love this episode. It just felt so summery and, you know, so, like, it felt like, kind of, like, it reminded me so much like, a rom-com or something. Because, of course, it was where, you know, Daisy met Mackenzie and, you know, they hung out together. And they really, you know, shared their thoughts with each other. And they really, like, opened up with each other despite only meeting. And they just had this, like, they had this instant spark together. So, obviously, I'm very happy that Mackenzie did move to San Mishuno. You know. Oh, and here we have the toddlers all together. So we have Magnolia, Henry, and Blossom. And of course, we have one of the many photos of Finley and Magnolia fishing together. Ah, we have the first photo of Birch in his new home that he bought. You know, he's planting all of his plants and stuff. This would have been an autumn though, so it's a bit late. But yeah, this is some photos of him moving in. And oh, I love this screenshot so much. This is, of course, another one of the thumbnail screenshots. I think it's such a lovely sibling photo. And here we go. We have another thumbnail screenshot. I love this one, though. It's a birch with his moving boxes. I love the pumpkins, the autumnal feel of this screenshot. And here we have some screenshots of Yuki and Fisher that I actually took for a Patreon post when I did give one of these photos. I deleted the rest, but I did take some of them for a Patreon post photo shoot of their new makeover and I thought this one was really really nice of them. Fisher doing some work from home, some art, freelance stuff. <laughs> oh this is when he took her out to dinner and he was going to propose. There we go. Oh this is such a lovely night. I loved getting him to propose with some pumpkin carving. Love 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 pumpkin carving. I love it in The Sims 4. I love it in The Sims 3. I love it in real life. <laughs> and this is of course when they went trick-or-treating and they've got their really adorable trick-or-treating costumes on and of course Willow also had to dress up as well for spooky fest. More fishing screenshots. Oh Oh, this is when Birch went and adopted Bear. He went to the shelter with his new friend, who I believe is also in the botanist career. I'm pretty sure. Guess what, you guys? I forgot her name, and she's a love interest, and I prefer these two together. I feel like they have more chemistry, and they just get along a lot better than he did with that other girl who I forgot the name of. So I think it's better that she stays a friend, and in the future, these guys will probably end up together, I think, because they just have really nice chemistry. And then, of course, we have Bear at home with him. Oh, this is when we went to Mount Kamarebi. What was this for again? Why did we go to Mount Kamarebi? I can't remember the event. Was it Harvest Fest? It was Harvest Fest, wasn't it? They wanted to spend Harvest Fest with Yuki and Fisher in their new house. Because, yeah, they recently have bought their new house. Okay, I'm remembering. Everyone loved meeting Yama-chan. And uh, obviously, this I love this episode so much because Nolan and Magnolia have, like, the best cousin bond. So they got to hang out a lot together, which is really lovely. And once again, we have more restaurant screenshots, which I love. More screenshots of Nolan and Maggie hanging out together. A big family walk. I love, 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 love this screenshot so much. Of everyone just enjoying the beautiful scenery. Then we have everyone at Fisher and Yuki's new house. Once again, hanging out. I just love seeing them all talking. I just think it's so freaking wholesome just seeing them all hang out together. And they went, of course, to the lake and they had a barbecue. And some some of them decided to go swimming despite it being quite cold. So we have, you know, obviously Blossom and Daisy decided to stay out of the water. But we've got a couple brave ones over here. <laughs> And Daisy kind of, as we did say, kind of took on the role of watching the kiddos as everyone else kind of had fun in the water. And Nolan did a job, didn't he? Nolan had his birthday in Mount Kamarebi, which is quite cool. And I actually just remembered Fisher had his birthday in Mount Kamarebi, so it's quite cool how they had their birthday in the same place. But we have another big family photo together. And of course, we have Nolan playing his instruments. There's quite a couple screenshots of him playing, you know, guitar and violin as a child. This is when, of course, he first went to high school and he's working on his projects. Here's a photo, of course, of him with his new friend. As you guys can tell, when Nolan became a teenager, like I instantly started taking more screenshots of him because obviously he's going to be my Gen 3 heir and he's still going to be the sim I follow. Although I do follow all of the sims now, so 
he's technically not, you know, the main sim. This is when obviously Daisy bumped into Mackenzie and this was like such an exciting moment. Oh, this is when the snowed in episode. I love this episode of Willow Creek Stories. Obviously he kind of got snowed in with, I still forgot her name. Oh my gosh, I, if, she, if he is going to marry her at some point, I need to know her name. I need to <laughs> This was so cute how they kind of, you know, spent tons of time together and they really bonded. This would have been when Mackenzie kind of came over to Daisy's Winterfest party or a pre-Winterfest party or whatever, which was so cute. Here's, of course, Nolan hanging out with his friends and then everyone decided to come over to San Maishino for Winterfest that year, which was so fun. Daisy aged up. And oh, here is a couple screenshots from the episode I made on the new stuff pack or the episode the video I made on the new stuff pack. Love, love, love these two screenshots. I just think they look so pretty. Once again, we have some um, awesome photos of Nolan and Magnolia hanging out even though Nolan's a teenager now I feel like they still get along really well which I think is just lovely how they still kind of kept that bond despite you know being a bit different in ages and here we go the big Winterfest party with all the presents which was so much fun but it took everyone so long to open all of these presents once again you guys another mini family photo and here's a photo of um daisy with her new look once again i i'm really annoyed because i gave her a makeover right and i posted the screenshots to my patreon i kept this one here because i just love the dramatic pigeon i don't know i just think it adds to it i just love the pigeon but i deleted at the others but anyway i'm going off topic it's really annoying because i gave her this makeover i spent like 40 minutes doing it but then i reset my mods folder so i haven't even had time to play with it so i've had to give her another makeover <laughs> this is when yuki found out that she was pregnant and of course this is them kind of hanging out with a couple of their friends kind of sharing the news of the engagement of her being pregnant and oh speaking of engagement this is when Tyson did propose to Riley I remembered her name I didn't film this at all this was an off-camera thing I did but he took her to a really nice restaurant and he proposed to her because he believes that she's one of him and she is they've got like, the same values they, they want to have a family and stuff so they did actually get engaged if you guys didn't know I may have posted it to the patrons if you're a patron member you may know about it but I don't think I did we have some more photos of Finley and Magnolia you know building snowmen together or oh, uncle Birch and Henry. I love this photo so much. Oh, this would have been the twins' birthdays. So exciting. And there we go, Henry. And there we go. They're all children now. And I think Magnolia gets along with them a lot better now they're older. And there we go. We have another cute little sibling photo and another one. And that is actually the final screenshots. Of course, I will be taking more screenshots as I, as I did say, but this is kind of the end of the screenshots of generation two that we took together in episodes. So as I did say earlier, do not fret. I'm going to be posting current household videos like a month, like once a month, probably of the honey brews because I really just can't let them go. And I kind of want to bring them into this new chapter, but I just don't want to record it. I want to make it my kind of current household. So yeah, look out for those videos. I'll keep you guys updated on the Tumblr so you can keep up with what's going on with the honey brews as it happens or you know soon after it happens but obviously i'll do like full recap in depth kind of current household updates for you guys but yes so as i did say in the beginning thank you so much for being part of the honey brews with me thank you for helping me tell their story thank you for supporting them for supporting me i really do appreciate you guys this has been by far my favorite let's play and my favorite type of videos that i've made on the channel and i'm so excited to continue the honey brews stories if you do want to download the honey brews for yourself i have posted all of the households on the gallery so you guys are able to continue their stories yourself if you would like to they are on the gallery under my origin id real Thumby. Once again, thank you so much for watching all the Honey Brew episodes. I appreciate every single one of you. As I always say, I hope you're taking care of yourself today and doing something that you love, even if it's only for a minute or two. I'm sending you lots of hugs, hot chocolate, tea, coffee, whichever you prefer, and I hope you have a very, very wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.